when you see a child that is promising not just in the entertainment industry other aspects, aspects you should be more supportive as a parent sometimes they, they don't have that time they don't see they what want, you see eh, they don't see what you see you have to find a way to but we are not entirely blaming the mother on no. this because i have seen people that prayed my yeah. sister i'll be one, one of the people when the prayed. will of god but me i know this number will not be the will of god it's not the will of god for him and that is that. why we are all calling out for justice. Are calling out for justice and i'm so proud of nigerians if you are nigerian seeing this video I am so proud to be an Nigerian at this point, and I hope that this energy that we have given to the cost of finding justice for Mobad, we also, you know, give some of this energy to people who are alive and helpless. So hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi darling, welcome. My name is Lily, and today I have a beautiful lady in the building. Today she's not a guest. Today she's my co-host because you guys have asked that she comes on my channel and help from time to time to co-host. That you want to hear more from her. That she's intelligent. You love her. You this and that. Welcome, my co-host. Hi, everybody. As you all know, I'm I'm faithful. I believe that you all know her. Mm. on my channel oh. hey. okay i'm glad you know that a lot of people like you a lot of people have beautiful things to say about you and some of them are asking if you if you have a, a youtube channel where they can subscribe do you have a channel oh yeah i do okay so and but i just started it okay and i'll be dropping videos oh what will you be doing on your channel well i'll be talking about how to how to help ladies grow problems in relationship spiritual problems and they're about so i'm going to be dropping videos soon so i i want you all to come and help me grow together so come and receive your spiritual healings and relationship healings so i'm going to link her channel in the description of this video feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell so that when she, she drops a video you will be notified guys don't forget to like this video and in today's video we are going to be taking on one of the most sorrowful stories in the entertainment industry the afrobeat industry and we are talking about mobad a nigerian promising talented musician who recently passed on to glory mobad was a 27 years old musician formerly signed to a record label called malian records owned by the controversial naira mali yeah, so we want to analyze his debts we are going to talk about some of the things that we wish should have been done and all that is happening everything in general so my co-host welcome to the show recently we go, we woke up here and we are mm. seeing videos on the internet i you know that day i showed you a post i yeah, said hey see yeah, instant block you, you were the one that yeah. about it i was very yeah shocked. i was like more bad as in i at some point have heard about him look at i love his music i wish we can play it here but mm -hmm. we cannot due to copyright so now we head that is no more now what is your opinion on how he was buried let's talk about that face it's so sad that even after all the connection he has made and after all the money even if he's not that rich mm, like, for now he has like not started David making Lowe, he has like, not started making know, money but, but all his effort his efforts hmm. his money his connection his time his time like they just buried him like someone that is irrelevant they just buried him like i don't care if if he dies he no, dies they, i don't think they buried him like i don't care they buried him like we are happy you left yes like I don't right care in my left. own opinion you are happy mm -hmm. no yeah. not even like i don't care ah. you know when you don't care you don't care mm -hmm. this one i care that you left thank oh. you bye that is our own my thought though yes because this guy died he was buried the same day right yes the same day less mm -hmm. than 24 hours but wait oh, me you know when he was buried i thought that he's a muslim i didn't know that he's a christian later we found out that her, his dad is a pastor hmm. his dad buried him there are a lot of lessons here like cope like we are on, on this topic because we 
as a mother i feel like we as mothers okay i feel like we should talk about this because now there are a lot of lessons packed in this video about this co-parenting thing that had really for me as but why do you think mobat dad did what he did why there, there can be only like let me say two reasons for that okay let me say the first one either he's, he's being blackmailed like mm, mm, either mm. there's a pressure he's being harassed he's being yes he's being, he's, they've, 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 they've given him pressure that yeah if you don't do this this is what we're going to do to you so maybe probably he's scared that they will come back for him mm. that can be number one reason for that then number two then number two maybe he doesn't care about his son he <sighs> tell me why your son died she could not even make any effort, any effort to soak it. I thought there to is fight like, for your son eh. at the age of 27 and you just oh lay him to rest. God. You didn't even lay him to rest. That is not even yeah, rest. The, the, you lay him oh, to rest. The him. most haunting picture of them all is. The, I can't, put, the, the I can't put it here. The bending of a young. The, the, the neck was even bending. They just went on with this. Um, rubbish to rest in peace. But why? Are they trying to tell me that Mobat is not even a tall guy? And he's not that tall so why the bending of the neck do you have any idea <sighs> that like, picture is going the, to haunt the, the, us the, for the, a very the, long the, time the, the the whole issue is there's still something fishing about this whole thing because for the fact that this boy has been crying complaining and no <laughs> one see to give him any attention till he died he, he demise like why actually Stated, stated clear that, that he's a pastor, he's a pastor. Mm. and okay you are a pastor and you had a dream because according to him he oh he said he had a dream yes, that he had a i dream. can't i can't watch mobat that for two minutes so tell us about the dream he, he said, said he, he had, had a dream and and that dream this he saw someone sh that shot him so he felt maybe he escaped but never knew it came to hurt him so as he shot at who shot at him or at his him, late son himself him. yes so as a pastor, you know God can reveal a lot of things. A lot of you. things in you don't a even have to be a pastor and in different dimensions. Yeah. You don't even have to be a pastor, not even the fact that you are a mm. pastor. For you not to see that this thing, mm. in fact, being shot in the dream is a serious concern that for you to just sleep over it. The, the, the Bible says he revealed to redeem. Whatever oh. God has already shown to you, he has already cancelled it. But it's left for you, like like God. He always say that. I will only tell you when once have I said twice have you heard. He only show you once, and it's left for you to do it or not. He he showed him that you have a serious case at hand. Why do I feel like this about Mobat's dad? I feel like he's not under any form of harassment by the Malians. I feel like him. There is just a coincidence. He's also he, he, they have um, the same interests. In my own opinion, I feel like they have the same interests. Forgive me for saying this. I feel like this is a man whose um, wife, the mother of the child, is no longer with him. And the child is not bringing as much money as he thinks the guy has. You get it? So what is he doing in life? And then the Malian, according to, yes, for now, we are all... Uh, there are a lot of fingers pointing at Nala Mali that he could be the 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 one possible i mean you could be the one behind the death of mobad all right so i feel like they had a common interest malian records like nala mali yeah. and his team they had common interest with the father you yeah. get it this is me that's that I think that's, of. that's why i stated the fact that mm. it's only two things that can lead to the demise of this young man yeah either the father is aware of it or he's been pushed, or he's he's being being pushed forced to do not it. to say anything, not but say he anything. knows, he practically knows what killed his son. For him to just yeah. bury without, he's even if he, if you look at the man, the way he's sitting, he doesn't have any, and he's not, he was he's like, not, he'll be like, ah, oh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't suspect anybody, really. Uh, don't we that we are not his blood, we do suspect. So okay. that time, they have, he has not even allowed them to do autopsy. And you know, <laughs> I don't know some mothers who got a big go, but like I feel like you should be so much involved in your child's life that everything, the life uh, decision of your child, don't entirely based on his father or her father yeah. or her mother, because some men too, there are women like that who like more bad so, that too. So, really? but uh -huh, I saw that video on Jesus Lover. The mother, they just were not together. 
Yeah. But this man was doing everything. He was more focused on, hey, hey, Womio, I've not enjoyed any money from my son. Who's talking about money? This is just a 27 years old guy. That guy is as good as a child. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. If you are 27 and you think Lily is calling you a child. Yeah. Because I was there and I know how far. That's some years back and now. I'm not the same. Do you get it? I was still trying. At that time, I was still trying to figure out my life. I'm still figuring it out now, but not as much as it was then in the, uh, like when I was 27. 20s. Yeah. Yeah. So that, when I was 27, I don't think my mom would even ask me for money. Uh, uh, grudges. grudges. Because he believes he's making that money and he's not spending it on him. You see that every other time he'll be talking about his wife, Mubat's wife, that she has the this, she has the that. That she'll ask her, she has the paper, she has his money. Do you get it? So he believes that, okay, uh, he has been making money. But what people don't know is that in the entertainment industry, you don't make money like that. You may be popular. You can go as, you can be as popular as a lot yeah. and still not have physical cash. Because it's that popularity that is your, that will later, you will turn that popularity into cash flow. But a lot of people don't know. Now, the part of Nigerians, so where do you think Nigerians feel more bad? our police our government because how will somebody report yes, to the you police. and over since then she just felt reluctant over it yeah you till, him. till his fears finally come Country. and now you are here yeah, we can do we want we want to make sure Me. mobile gets justice justice like you, you would have, have done save more a life. yeah you could have saved a life to save him from this Tragedy, but yeah, no, that, this tragedy won't yes. have happened. Won't have but happened. happened, but it's happened because why if we are in a society where they respect mm -hmm. money. You know why me? I think um, first before I condemn the role that Nigerians played in his death, I want to say for once that I'm proud of Nigerians and I'm proud to be a Nigerian again because see, see now they just spoke in one voice and they're out there in the streets protesting but yeah. I wish that we could do better yeah. by acting being proactive rather than we yeah. waiting for the worst to happen before we take to the streets to go and you know demand for justice we could actually had you know do more to save yeah, this guy by, by not just ignoring you know, uh, Mobat is one of those artists that usually yeah. come on social media to say, Oh, I'm me, they want to kill me. Oh. If anything happened to me, oh, this person, you know, if this one do me, now this person, you know, he do live streams, he do everything, he sing in his music, announcing to the world that his life is under threat. But people just that is the message. Yes. And a lot of people will DM you most of the time you do this. Eh, forget it, nothing when if you do. Okay, I feel like we should act more. Like, we are all uniting now to fight for justice. What if we're putting that energy as when he what was alive. to... Yes! To when he was alive. Nigeria, Nigeria is a great country. We mm. have voice, we have power, but some people are scared to use it. You know, so, like, the, I think... Um, I think, um, yeah, you are right. People are scared to use it, but why are they not scared now? I think people... Are slow to use it. I will say rather than say they are. Yeah, they don't they use it at the right time. They don't use it at the right time. But I'm glad. I'm proud that they're using it now. But next time we can do better to save our youths. Not for be say uh, you can't die. They can't use you. Take yes, set, other people, set free. other people free because we're discovering more about the Malian record. Yeah. Do you know that last year Jesus Love made a post? I can't forget it. He said Nala Mali. Uh, record why are you recruiting these young talents so in the name of uh in the name of signing them into your record label when you know for sure say you are using them for drug trafficking just love her put it out there straight but people didn't even talk about it for two minutes we moved on hmm Malians. Yeah, the you know that time now. Yeah, I believe that day. in Mali, you know that mm -hmm. time. People can key for that, you know, for that movement at, at that time. So, but um, I'm proud um, to be a Nigerian again because it feels like, ah, yeah, even if you know to get the justice, last, last, when you die, then go see, you understand, they go still rise for you, which I'm proud of. But I, next time, I think we should do 
we should act fast. We should act better because yeah, we shouldn't act. We shouldn't wait for the worst to happen before we act. So that is it. Um, now, do you think that exhuming his body like they're about to do will bring answers to his death? If they want to, they should do it because maybe it will give him his peace. His soul will finally be at Find peace. Find peace, right? The video will come up. I've not been able to sleep. This will come uh, up Bella Shimoda, because everybody is I can literally it. stay on my phone to watch videos and videos of this guy since his demise. Mm. Because I just really want to know what really happened. happened. What happened? Why? Why didn't we know when he was crying out for yes. help? Do you think that uh, Mobad dad, if he finds guilty, what what do you think should be done to him? I don't really think. I don't really think he's behind it. Okay, but I, I think he knows he don't something. Care to know what yeah, is behind he know. It. I think he knows something. Then if he knows something, not he's behind, behind it, it now. No. Like, like I always state the fact that mm. it's either the Malians have threatened him not to speak. Okay. Or they will kill him the mm. way they killed his son. And you seen that they brought your son cops to you like your son is dead. They called you to go and pick your son. How will you feel? You feel frightened. Mm. And you know your son have reported to the police and, and they this, couldn't save him, and right? They couldn't save him. Then how much more about you? You that is not popular yes, because who cares? This man is coming to the limelight because Just, of the son, yeah, you know, yeah. the death of the son. Otherwise we'll never have known him. So I, I so. feel I feel maybe it's under pressure. pressure. Under duress. Yes. To not to say anything. Like, because if you look at him when he's even talking to People for in the interview, see, he's, he's not even he's yes, he's afraid. He's he's literally shivering, like he ah. shake, like he's, oh, no. he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not himself. So maybe hmm. if they let's find out that Mumbai was really killed by hmm. the autopsy test, I don't think it will be the father. Okay, fine. Um, now, do you think that coming from a broken home had contributed to his death? Do you think if his mom and dad were living together, do you think he would have been more protected than they actually did? No. Okay, you don't think so? I don't think so. So you don't think it has anything to do with um, him coming from a broken home, uh, right? No, but it has something to do with the mother. As a parent mm. and as a mother, a father's role is not to take care of the child. A father's role is to bring, is to support, to bring, and to bring what, like to the money, table. financial yes, to the table. Yeah, financial support. Mm. Then a mother's role is to take care of kids. That's why you see what men. Is guy? Yeah, wait, like I will get there. Okay. That's why you see your mother can look after five kids without complaining. But if you send your husband a message just once, he will start complaining because that is not they are real you listen to the interview and all the this you will never like you the mother was never there you can literally see that the mother was never there the he doesn't talk the about mother, his parents he doesn't he talk doesn't. about no his father is always like close to him even though he wasn't even, a loving father yes. but he was but not an mom, absentee the mom absentee dad he was not yes, an absentee the dad mom was, she never gave him that um let me say the time Maybe that she felt like he's a guy, he's he a man child, a guy, and, um, and, 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 and they need their father more. She should, like, the way, like you always tell me, the way um, Bonner Boy mother go back and yeah, back and back is, with him. Yes, there. because she's there because she's protecting her yeah, son. But you, you feel maybe it's because of the money. It's not because of the no, money, because there's a lot of, a lot of wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah, God. Bonner Boy is surrounded by family. How do you hurt that kind of person? He's surrounded by the people that has his interests at heart. Not people that want his properties, yeah. just his properties. People that want him to progress, and they're not envious of that. So, okay, well, I hope that one or two lessons will be learned from. When you see a child that is promising, not just in the entertainment industry, other aspects, mm, aspects. you should be more supportive as a parent. Don't just go and sit down and say, ah, because him, mm. the child wouldn't want you to show them all. You know, they like freedom. Yeah, at times they, they don't have that time. They don't see they what want, you see. Eh, they don't see what you see. You have to find a way to... But we are not entirely blaming the mother on no. this. Because I have seen people that prayed. My yeah, sister, I'll one, be one of the people who prayed. will of God. But me, I know uh -huh. this mother will not be the will of God. It's not the will of God for him. And that is why we are all calling out for justice. And I'm so proud of Nigerians. If you are a Nigerian seeing this video, 
I am so proud to be a Nigerian at this point. And I hope that this energy that we have given to the cost of finding justice for Mobad, we also, you know, give some of this energy to people who are alive and helpless. All right. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, we will see you in my next video. And I'll our next video are you coming again <laughs> are you sure <laughs> okay so guys um thank you we'll bye. see you in our next one bye